Hi everyone, I'm Jez from Friends World Committee for Consultation, Europe and Middle East section. In my exploration of authentic expressions of Quaker faith, I've been honoured by the opportunity to have time with Welsh Quakers learning about their experiences of the Quaker way, with particular reference to a faith expressed in Welsh. Unfortunately, I left it too late to have a contribution from them in this video. But nonetheless, I will head now to Britain Yearly Meetings, Quaker Faith and Practice, and two passages in Welsh that have English translations, 1014 from Dwy Four Meeting and the poem In Two Fields by Waldo Williams at 2133. The poem was an early discovery by me, for me, when I began attending Quaker meetings around the year 2000 and has long been my favourite passage in the Britain Yearly Meeting, Quaker Faith and Practice. The English translation of 1014 reads, Although English has been the main medium of the society in these islands through the years, it should be recognised that part of its life has been, and is, expressed through other languages, and in Wales also through the medium of Welsh. Our society's tradition, our history and our witness are demeaned if that is ignored. Some Welsh speakers have been made unwittingly to feel marginalised. The rightful place of the Welsh language in the work and activities of the yearly meeting in Wales should be secured. Do it for meeting 1994. I feel that, that this is an important text in Quaker faith and practice and rings true for me not just about expression of Quaker faith in Welsh, but all the other languages across the Europe and Middle East section. I hope that you're inspired by these videos I've recorded in these last few weeks and months to seek out expressions of Quaker faith in different languages. And do look out for the next run of the European Quaker Voices course by Woodbrook. Now, finally, for this bit series, I'll read the English translation of In Two Fields and take you to a wood and a marsh near my home in Geneva, Switzerland. Thank you for accompanying me on the short tour through ministry and materials across Europe. In two fields. Where did the sea of light roll from? Onto flower meadow field and flower field? After I'd searched for long in the dark land, the one that was always Whence did he come? Who? Oh, who was the marksman, the sudden enlightener? The roller of the sea was the field's living hunter. From above, bright billed whistlers, prudent scurry of lapwings. The great quiet he brought me. Excitement he gave me, where only the sun's fort stirred to lyrics of warmth crackle of gorse that was ripe on escarpments, hosting of rushes in their dream of blue sky. When the imagination wakens, who calls? Rise up and walk, dance, look at the world. Who is it hiding in the midst of the words that were there on flower meadow field and flower field? And when the big clouds, the fugitive pilgrims, were red with the sunset of stormy November, down where the ash trees and maples divided the fields, the song of the wind was deep like deep silence. Who, in the midst of the pomp, the superabundance, stands there inviting, containing it all? Each witness's witness, each memory's memory, life of each life, quiet karma of the troubled self, till at last the whole world came into the stillness and on the two fields his people walked and through and between and about them goodwill widened and rose out of hiding to make them all one. As when the few of us forayed with pitchforks or from heavy meadows lugged thatching of rush. How close we came then, one to another, the quiet huntsman so cast his net round us. 
pages of the blood on the grass and the light of grief. Who whistled through them? Who heard but the heart? The cheater of pride and every trail's tracker. Escape from the armies. Hey, there's his whistling. Knowledge of us. Knowledge. Till at last we do know him. Great was the leaping of hearts after their ice age. The fountains burst up towards heaven till, falling back, their tears were like leaves of a tree. Day broods on all this beneath sun and cloud, and night through the cells of her wide branching brain. How quiet they are, and she breathing freely over flower meadow field and flower field. Keeps a grip on their object, the fields full of folk. Surely these things must come. What hour will it be that the outlaw comes, the hunter, the claimant to the breach? That the exiled king cometh and the rushes part in his way. Translation by Tony Conrad.